Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to the code signal SQL coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below so you can start at the beginning if you want. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to Arcade, and then Databases, and then we left off on the Speciality section on number 30, Books Catalog. So you have your very own library at home and it's getting bigger and bigger with each passing month. You've decided to create a database in which to store information about your books in the hope that it will help you remember which books you have in your library. Information about the books in your library is stored in the table catalogs which contains the following columns. So you've got a doc ID, so it's just a primary key uh, for the catalog, and then you have an XML doc uh, the catalog is an XML file in the following format. So you see it's a markup language similar to HTML. So you've got uh, the catalog tag, and then under that you have a book tag, author, title, and then additional books, etc. Each catalog represents the work of one distinct author in your library. There's exactly one catalog element in each XML doc, and the ID for each book is unique. Given the catalogs table, you want to find out which authors you have represented in your library. Your task is to create a new table with the author column that will contain all the distinct authors sorted by their names. Okay. So this is what the table looks like. Uh, so you got the catalog object, and each row uh, is devoted to one author. So you'll see there's multiple books by uh, one author possibly, but uh, there's only one author per row. And what they want is just a single column of author and the distinct authors under that, sorted by name. All right. So you need to know one thing that makes this a lot easier, and that's this extract value function. So you can look at the MySQL reference to show what it does, um, but I'm going to just go ahead and use it. So first you have to put in your XML, so that would just be the XML doc column. So I'll just put that in, Oops. and then the second argument is what you want to extract from that. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. So we can go under catalog. So if there's one slash, that means it has to be connected to the root directory, which catalog is the root here. And then we'll go under book. Book's the next tag under that. And we only want the first one. So we're going to do this bracket one, so that will only grab the first book tag. And then under that we need to grab the author, and then that will return the text under there. And we'll call this author, because that's what they want the column to be called, as the alias. And then from, From what we need is just the catalogs here. So let's we'll copy and paste that. And we're going to order by the author. And we need a semicolon to finish that off. And I think that should run. And yes, looks like the correct answer. So I'll just show you another way you could do that based on the XML that we have here. So if you don't want to go from the root, you can also do this double slash, which will say it'll find a book wherever they are. And in this case, we still have to find the first instance of book and then author under that. So if we run that.
you see we get the same result. Now if we take this out, what's going to happen is you're going to get duplication, so you're going to get Chuck, uh, Pella, whatever, Bernard Weber only once, but you're going to get Boris Vian, what, three times. So if we run that, we'll see what happens there. So you see we got duplication of the names here because we didn't specify specifically which uh, book we wanted. And in this case, we only need one. So that's why we put this bracket and we put one. If we put two, then this Bernard Weber will cause an error because there's not uh, two, two book tags. But that's how this one is done. It's a little tricky because you have to know uh, the extract value uh, function. Otherwise, it, it, it's, a, it's a little difficult. All right, I hope you guys were able to follow along with that. Hope you en enjoy the next videos. Thank you very much.